What's up guys? Hey, Adam. I'm Jake. This is Two Dudes Reviews and we're doing a product review. Someone reached out to us, Lauren from Spinning Wheels Brands, and they said, hey, you like to try new food? You want to try some of our new stuff that's organic? We said, sure. Next thing you know, handy dandy box shows up. Why is Pulse a box handy dandy? I don't know. The postal guy was like, hey, you got something new to try. You should try it. So here Postal we are. Postal guy usually talk to you? Yeah, well, I talk to him through the camera. I never talk to him. Oh, so I got okay. a camera, and, and when he comes up, I yell. I try to talk to him to the okay. back lot. I'm like, hey, let me out. What you doing out there? Let me out. Anyway, spinning, spinning wheel. Um, oh, Jesus. Spinning wheel brands. I'll put a link downstairs. They um, they own quite a few things. Um, of course, they own stuff like Hope Sesame, which is this organic sesame milk chocolate flavored so uh this is all healthy organic stuff right yeah we got handfuls uh which is uh they got a few things on here these are crunch bites ranch almonds and these are handful fusion lakeshore trail mix and i'm gonna butcher this name you want to wanna... mosaics uh organic popped veggie potato chips sea salt give you an idea it's uh, organic flavored. Green beans, organic yellow beans, organic potatoes, organic black beans, and organic olive oil. I'm not really sure how this is going to happen. but Okay, what are we going to do first? Let's do the milk first. Okay, so <laughs> this milk is cold. It's chocolate milk, by the way. It's chocolate. I'm going to shake it up. Um, it says refrigerator. refrigerator ref God. Refrigerate after opening. I'm gonna give it a shake. Shake, shake, Just have a shake. Pull top. Oh, that was scary. Okay, we're <laughs> these these reviews are completely honest. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about sesame milk, but it might be good. Who knows? So this is sesame milk made by um, Sesame Milk, which is owned by Spinning Wheels. Is it? Yeah, Hope yeah. and Sesame is the yeah. name. Hope and Sesame, organic sesame milk. Uh, shake well before opening. Um, what we got here? Concentrated sesame seed. It's supposed to be healthy for you. All family ran. USDA organic. Yes, and it's made with sesame. And it's gluten free. As all of their products are. Dairy free, 8 grams of protein, 160 calories, 50% RDA, vitamin D, chocolate milk. What is RDA? I have no idea, but let's attempt this. It's real thick. Yeah. Chocolate. It's kind of chalky. I'm not going to lie. The smell, yeah, the I smell thought it was awful. gonna be, because it smells like dirty <laughs> socks. <laughs> the taste isn't bad. I mean, it's not it's the not, best. No, but it's definitely like, especially if you're looking for something that's non-dairy. Yeah, and you need something that's gluten free. And I, I bad. think the whole like we're used to not drinking so much organic stuff. This is probably I've never typical had sesame milk before right. ever either. I'm a, I'm okay with drinking it. Which means that people that like sesame milk probably would enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I think so. Do they even um, have sesame milk besides? Because I've never seen it before. No idea. I don't know. Dairy free, soy free, gluten free, tree nut free. Damn. Where'd you get the chocolate from, though? <laughs> yeah. Where's the chocolate true. come from? I don't know. Um, Cacao, I'm assuming. It's not bad, though. It's definitely different. Made in the Canada, The smell by the way. is kind of awful. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad. Do we uh, rate? Do we rate this? Yeah, one? let's go ahead and rate that. One. Uh, unfor uh, you know, I'll be. I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, I'm gonna be right in the middle. I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I wouldn't buy it because I'm not. As yeah, you can tell, don't we don't. Gluten we don't free really products. Yeah, we're not organic <laughs> people. Uh, but what it is is pretty good. Yeah, I mean the taste after you. I'll do it again. It's a chocolate taste. I'll mm -hmm. give it to him. You know, it's not. The smell is weird, but <laughs> the flavor, once it goes in, not bad. Not huh. bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up. These are uh, handfuls. Um, delicious little bites. Crunch bites. Ranch almonds. 
whole rusted al almonds, each wrapped in a crispy, crunchy rice cracker shell. Shell. What the hell? A nut. Well, it's kind of like corn nuts, essentially, yeah. right? A nut wrapped in chip. In a chip. In a chip. I think that's what corn nuts, aren't they? I don't know. I've never had a corn. I got the burps right now. Why, thank you. So they look like... They look like, like oversized peanuts. Yeah. That's or like thing. almonds. <laughs> right. These nutty bite-sized treats pack in an unexpected crunch and flavor. Punch you'll just love. We flash roasted whole Californian almonds and light butter. Batter. Batter, sorry. Oh, well, like then, butter. <laughs> yeah. And then season them with your favorite savory flavors. Sounds nutty. Tastes yummy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's a good. Yeah, it is. That's a good. <laughs> We're gonna put that on a t-shirt. Sounds I guess so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we put that on the t-shirt if you're watching? Yeah, Sounds nutty, good. tastes yummy. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Those are actually really good. Yeah, they are. Not really heavy on the ranch, but the flavor that's there is pretty good. I'm trying that one. Mm -hmm. I could eat this. Me too. Like the um, the outside shell is really good. And it kind of adds a different um, element to it. I don't know. It's not like an overpowering ranch. No. Was it good though? I'm, it is. I it's don't like, know, it's like, more like a ranch, like a <laughs> uh, like the powdered ranch. Yeah. Like when, if you were gonna make your own. Right. That's good. I did eat those. It's got 150 calories per serving, which is four. No, 17 pieces, sorry. <laughs> so it's like four, huh? I mean, that can get pretty f fulfilling. Yeah. That's that's good. That's nice. What do you give this one? Um, I'm going to give that a four. High four. Well, the only complaint I really have about it is... Honestly, I don't know. But it did. <laughs> Maybe it's just the ranch is kind of uh, really tame. But... It, that's just me personally. I'm gonna give it a four. It's new. Uh, not familiar with the brand, but um, it's not bad. But looking on the back, there's sea salt. Which which one? Was, what is this? This is trail mix. Yeah. So there's sea salt. There's barbecue. There's nacho, chili, lime, honey mustard, and ranch. I would definitely try the barbecue. Yeah. And the nacho probably. And the nacho would be really interesting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but the ranch, it's real good. It is. It's good. good. Moving on. It's good road food, actually, and it's healthier for you than grabbing some corn nuts out of a gas station. Right. So this is handful, handfuls, uh, fusion, lake, fusions, lake shore trail mix. Take Named your, after Chicago's Lake Shore Drive. The Windy City. The Windy City, because it has caramel and cheese together, because that's the Chicago mix. Everyone knows that. Yeah, salted caramel, glazed cashews, cheddar... Crunch bites almonds, a classic st Chicago style flavor combination. Cut and I quit. I quit too. Here, <laughs> well, these big ass things. Well, you gotta get. I didn't even get any. <laughs> yeah. So these look like cheese balls. Is this a walnut? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the, it's the roasted, right? Salted caramel. Yeah. Okay, listen, you want to do the cashew first? Yeah, let's do the cashew. Cashew. Is that a cashew or an almond or a walnut? Cashew. Oh. And then this is the cheddar crunch almond ball. That cashew is good. Well, it was good. And this is the cheddar crunch almond ball. That's a good cheddar. I don't really get too much of it. Let me try it on one. Well, that one takes more. This is pretty good. It's a weird combination of prop, sweet and like, salty. And... Yeah. I'm going to try both of them together. The uh, cashews are very, very sweet. Almost like a maple flavor to them. That's not bad. Good too. This handful of stuff's pretty good. Yeah. They're good uh, snackables. It's kind of hard to find a good healthier right snack food honestly 140 calories per uh one fourth cup 
Which is pretty much the bag, almost. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine somewhere around there. That's not bad, though. That's good stuff. What do you give this one? I'm going to give that a four as well. I, too, will give this a four. Good stuff. I definitely... If, I'm not for sure where you can buy this. I'll put a link downstairs to their website. But uh, they sent it to us. Uh, thank you. Because uh, this stuff I wouldn't have even known about. I recommend you go get it. One yep. more. These little guys. These veggie thingies. Veggie potato chips, sea salt. Organic popped. I'm going to let you get the smell first. It's not bad. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't really have a smell. What the hell? That thing's gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get one. Okay, here we go. So Mine's not as big as yours. <laughs> veggie and potato chips. You can see, like, the peas inside of it. Yeah. So it's got, yeah, again, it's got peas. It's got green peas, yellow peas, organic potatoes, black beans, and olive oil. Oh, it's got black beans, too. Ready? Yep. That's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. That olive oil comes through so much. Mm. That is very good. Yeah. It's very light and fluffy. And you would think with all the peas that this is going to be weird. I don't really get a pea taste. I get mm -hmm. the olive oil comes through. Mm -hmm. Almost like with a... the sea salt, too. Not, yeah, the sea salt. It's a nice blend of sea salt. The flavor goes away quick, which is okay. Kind of get a little bit of dry mouth. That's because of the salt. That and it's, uh, it's very... Uh, I don't know that. Flaky. It's very flaky. I was going to say fluffy. Right. Very flaky, so that kind of does, you kind of need a drink with it. That's not a bad thing. It's just, when you're having chips, you generally would anyway. They got a breakdown. 23 chips. 23 of these is 110 calories. Three, <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Three, three grams of fat, four grams of protein, four grams of fiber. Compared to a potato chip, same size, basically. 15 of them. Uh, 15 chips would be 160 calories. Even the veggie chips, we talked about those mm -hmm. before. Um, 38, well, actually you get more veggie chips than, but you don't get any protein or fiber. So, yeah, sure. there's a little, some fixings in here. This stuff's good. Uh, yeah, that's really good flavor. I, you know, it's going to be weird. This is the first time I've ever heard of them. I don't know where to find them. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm going to give them a five. Yeah, me too. That's I think a five it's, out of five. it's a good, healthy chip. And I'd be fine with the size, this size of bag too. Oh, me too. Because I feel like if it's too much, I probably wouldn't eat a lot. You know, go to waste. But I feel like this, two servings, watching some, uh, you know, some Stranger Things, pop this. Honestly, I think that's kind of the problem we have in America is that they give us these gigantic family size bags like this big, and we just we have a problem with portion control in America where. And when I say America, I mean me as well. Uh, where you just keep eating until everything's gone. That's what yeah. <laughs> so with this, it's perfect. It makes perfect sense to have a small bag. Or so, a smaller bag. We give it a five out of five. Highly recommend it. Again, I'll put a link downstairs in the basement. Laura, Lauren, 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 Lauren from Spinning Wheels. Um, thank you for sending this to us. Uh, I would never, I never even knew about it. And these chips like literally are delicious. So I'm going to look at, uh, Merry Man might have some of these. Yeah. If you're in Decatur. Yeah. So we'll, we'll Probably find out food if we can see it. We'll, we'll put links downstairs mm -hmm. in the basement. So try to get some, let us know if you like it or hate it or whatever. If you got something out there you want us to try, leave a comment downstairs or DM us or get a hold of us on Twitter. Well, not him. Cause he's never on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Every once in a while. I and go by the real Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> On that note. Bye. I'm surprised John's never.